Uh, can they do better than their nemesis? I think they did. They did better than Savage Spears. No, they didn't. They're off by five. Just five held them off. Hello and welcome to Joe's Marble League. Once again, we are back for season seven. And as you can see, these are the teams we are having. Uh, we have the Snowballs, the Midnight Wisps, the Chocolatiers, the Lava Rockers. Yes, I'm doing new teams with old teams. The Hazers, the Savage Speeders, the O Rangers, the Oceanics, Team Momo, Jabberbrocky, Minty Maniacs, the Yetis, Foresters, Green Ducks, Pinkies, and I am going to be playing season seven as the Marvelous Boz. Oh yes, how marvelous it is. Let's just call them the Vox Machina team. <laughs> I mean, seriously. But this is the uh, lineup we're going with this. I decided, I decided to uh, add a little bit of old with new. I uh, chose Lava Rockers again to hopefully give them another shot because I really like their design. Foresters, just simply because, I don't know, just for some reason, Foresters just stood out for me to choose this time. Yetis, they, they got to come back. They won something. And uh, what was the other new team I had? Oh, yeah, Jabberbrocky. I had to have them. But, of course, we have Team Momo, Minty Maniacs, Chocolatiers. Those three are the constant thing. Savage Spears and Rangers always back at each other's throats. Oceanics. Someone was mentioning on multiple videos, bring back Oceanics. So, here we go. I said I would, and I did. Um, Hazers as a little, you know, different thing. Green Ducks, because some people like Green Ducks. And I have the Pinkies and Snowballs, because I haven't had the Pinkies around often that much. Or the Snowballs, although the Pinkies in this kind of look the same as Snowballs, just slightly pinkish. But And then, of course, I have the Midnight Wisps, because I don't think I do the Midnight Wisps that often. So I think I usually have, like, Gliding Glaciers or something. So we're doing Midnight Wisps as a uh, good thing. Now, I said I would start with the opening ceremony each time, beginning of each season, to give each team their do so without further ado i will shut up and you can just uh watch them play or watch them have their moment in the sun even though we've seen this several times already what's the point of the thing you know you can't always do your thing mm -hmm. dougie Advertise your local business here. See my millions every year. Call Marub. Better call Saul Marub. Call Marub less, less Marub, or Marbles, I guess. Invisible Blossom mer Mermaid. I will say they always have uh, different new things every time. I wonder how you can do that. How do you add your advertisement thing to the uh, thing? Interesting. Snowballs. Midnight Wisps. Chocolatiers. Oh, the coach is Truffle. Okay, that's cool. Lava Rockers. There we go. Kano is coach. Oh, okay. Hazers. They have Smokey with Solaris as the flag bearer. What the heck? I have no clue why that picked up, but okay. <laughs> Oceanics. <laughs> Sarah, you wanted to have a word, I guess, to end the thing. Ardoxus is the flag bearer. Jabberbrocky. Yep. Minty Maniacs. Mint condition. Yetis. Cold blooded is their hashtag. Boof is their coach. <laughs> her coach name is Boof. <laughs> Pickers! And then us, the Marvelous Bards. Natural 20. Oh, that's a perfect type of... Natural 20 is the hashtag. Okay, that's good. Of course, gotta have Greg Woods. He's what helps make the thing so believable. I'm amazed. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> that always makes me happy to see that for some reason. 
So this is like, yeah, that's cool. Alrighty. We have the Marble League set to go. All right, Snowballs and the Midnight Wisps. All right, there we go. Oh, Midnight Wisps won that first little thing. Did I say ASMR? What? All right, so the Snowballs are currently behind the Midnight Wisps. They only got eight. All right, Chocolatiers and Lava Rockers. Oh, that's an interesting combination. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'd say Lava Rockers won that. I think. No, Chocolatiers. Yeah, Chuck Chocolatiers. They had one too many extra. Lava Rockers had all four, but they had too many low numbers. Again, I'm also rooting for Lava Rockers and Team Momo. If either one of those win this league, awesome sauce. <laughs> That's fine by me. Hazers and Savage Speeders. All right. Surprised I didn't put them next to the Rangers, but sure, whatever. Uh... Oh, Hazers won that. Oh, okay. That's good. Rangers and Oceanics. Okay. Both O teams. Oh, Rangers won that handily. Oceanics got... S wow. Come on, Oceanics. That's pretty bad. Snowballs had, uh, had one, not, had two, like, not even, you know, make it all the way. I mean, they made it all the way to the red, and they that's why they scored eight points. That's Team Momo. Hey, Team Momo. Okay, that's not bad, Team Momo. Minty Maniacs and the Yetis. Uh, I think the Yetis won it. Should won it. They did. All right, 30 points. All right, Foresters and the Green Ducks. Take your pick. Uh, not the Foresters. Green Ducks. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to choose Foresters for some reason. It's, it's, it just seemed... I don't know. It seemed like it was speaking to me. All right. So the teams we got for... Or the my characters. Or the guys on my team. Let's... Hang on. Let's take a good look at them first. All right. So this is the team of the Marvelous Bards. Kind of like Minty Maniac kind of swirl. I'd say. But we have Abelard, Hildegard, Beauregard, Wolfhard, and Armengard. <laughs> Armengard. I remember from the uh, VeggieTales thing, the Penniless Princess, the little girl, she's like, I'm Ermengard, but you can call me Ermie. That's literally what I remember Ermengard as. And I remember their coach name was Lenard. <laughs> Okay, these are the. That's why they're called the Marvelous Bards, because they all have Ard at the end of their name. Well, how appropriate. Okay, so we have Abelard right here. Uh, Wolfhard. Just leave him kind of there. Beauregard. Um, maybe put a little up. Hildegard, put down. All right, let's give it a shot, see what it does. Ah, I had one too many. It went too far. I got 16 points. That's not bad. No, really, that's not bad. If I had gotten to the end, that could have been a win. Uh. No, I wouldn't have won because I would have only had 26 and he had 28. Okay, so against the pinkies. But we're not done yet. We got a second run to try to get a better score. So, uh, okay, so it looks like, what was that? Snowballs? Snowballs. So snowballs have 22, Midnight Wisps have 12. I think their first run was better. And snowballs definitely had better because they only had eight. So snowballs will definitely go with that result. Chocolatiers and Lava Rockers. Oh. Uh, I think Chocolatiers won that pretty handily. I don't think the... I don't believe, yeah. Chocolatiers will go over the first result. So, in the meantime, Savage Speeders and Hazers. All right. Savage Speeders, there we go, in that place. Uh, I think Hazers had a better result the first time gone. I don't remember what it was. Rangers and Oceanics. They were, they were pretty close, weren't they? 
Some sort of YouTube channel being a Mavericks. Oh, OG, Rangers won it then. <laughs> Rangers won that for sure. 29. That's a good enough score. They're going to have at least second place with that because Yeti's had 30. So Rangers at least got a medal, I would think, out of that, unless someone can take him out. Jabber Brokey and Team Momo. Oh, pretty even. No, Team Momo win it because Jabber Brokey got too ambitious. Yep. 23. That's a respectable thing. Oh, Jabberbucky is almost... Well, we'll see what they all resorts give. Minty Maniacs and... What is this, Yetis? Oh, is that the Yetis? What is that? It is the Yetis. Okay, so e their two runs in this thing were 30 and 29. No matter what, they are in first place so far. Unless someone can get higher than that. Foresters and Green Ducks. Well, so far, I wouldn't be in last because I had 16 points at least, so I'd be ahead of a lot of people. 24 and 20. Okay, that's not bad. So 20 is the... All right, so I need to put Abelard down and Beauregard. Let's see if I adjust them this way. All right, let's try it. That might have been my issue. Perfect. Got that one. I got fourth place. Oh, wow. I was so close. Oh, wow. Actually, I tied with the Foresters. Oh, but because I had 16 as opposed to 14, that's how I was able to get ahead. Wow. But I almost just got a medal on my first thing. But 12, fourth place is not bad to start off with. <laughs> not bad at all. Where's Lava Rockers? Oh, they got 14th. Okay. But Team Momo got 7th. Yay. So Yetis, continuing from when the last time they were in, are at the top again. There's Roto. Oh, the Pinky fans. Wow. The way she said, the Pinkies. <laughs> she was excited saying Pinkies. Interesting. So, there, so far... We have Yetis, Rangers, and Pinkies as your top three, with me right there in fourth. That's not bad at all. Technically, because we're bards, are we all like Scanlan from Vox Machina and just want to do every marble or something? Is that... Is that... If you don't know what Vox Machina is, I, I it's a series I saw on uh, on uh, Amazon Prime. Uh, it's very adult. It's got some nudity, a lot of cursing, and kind of gory. But it does have a good, interesting plot once you hit the uh, end of episode two when you hit the thing about the Briarwood arc. It's actually kind of interesting, but it is not appropriate for children, so I would not recommend it for children to watch at all, even though it's a cartoon. It's based off the Critical Role's uh, campaign they did, you know, Dungeon & Dragon thing. I didn't know anything about it, really, until that part. So I wouldn't necessarily watch it if you're a kid or anything like that. Or if you're looking for a family entertainment. It is not meant for that. It's an adult cartoon. But if you like that type thing, it does actually have a good plot and everything. I did enjoy it, enjoy it more on subsequent run uh, watches, even though I still don't like, you know, the gore and the nudity and cursing. But all right, on to round event two, balancing. Okay, we, we know how to do balancing, dude. All right, snowballs. No, they're not going to give us an example. I'm going to watch the snowballs get a high score. Three, oh gosh, 375. That's pretty good. <laughs> All right, Midnight Wiss. Uh, okay. For, oh my gosh, 410? Wow, that's. We got two high scores, 410. What does that give him? 380. Uh, goodness! <laughs> I gotta get past 375 just to get in the top three. Holy smokes. Lava Rockers, let's see what you can do. Uh, oh my goodness. Maybe? Three, 394! <laughs> you gotta get over 400 just to get a medal. <laughs> my gosh. No, not the Hazers. Hazers don't get it. Hazers didn't get it. They're in last place. 
Yeah, they're in last place. 321. Okay, so get higher than 321. That's the goal. Savage Speeders, what can they do? Uh, not. Yeah, I was going to say better than Hazers, but they didn't have enough go all the way. Or Rangers. Uh, can they do better than their Nemesis? I think they did. They did better than Savage Speeders. No, they didn't. They're off by five. Just five held them off. Wah, wah, wah. So Savage Speeders, you beat your rival Rangers in this. You at least guaranteed one extra point than them. At least one extra point. Oceanics. It's a land event, so they should do okay. Right? Oh, my gosh. Oh! Oceanics. They're at the bottom. <laughs> oh, boy. Team Momo. Oh, good run. Good run. Ah, 404. I'm happy with that. That's good, Team Momo. So, so far, they're guaranteed a good place because 400 seems to be the magic number. I want to see all four get down there. Oh, Jabberbrocky might be a threat. Close. They almost cracked it. Pretty close. All right, Minty Maniacs. No, they didn't make it all the way. 367. Yeah. Respectable. But Team Momo is at least beating Chocolatiers and rivals Minty Maniacs. So Team Momo is doing good. All right, Yeti is the leader. Mm, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, 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 444. Gosh. Yetis are just that. They're yetying the competition in this. Holy smokes. What would happen if someone got a, a medal... And every single thing. I know there's no achievements with this on Steam, but if you could get a gold medal on every single event, <laughs> I I don't know what record you would have to have to, to achieve that. I don't know if it's achievable, it being a simulation, but... All right, Foresters. Okay. Uh, no, not Foresters. Uh, 349. Okay. Not last. All right, Green Ducks. Quack Attacks. No, not green ducks. Oh, yeah. The only way I can really get ahead is uh, is I got to make sure I get all. Oh, I'm last place in this. Okay, is get all single one down there, not the pinkies. Uh, three forty two. Okay, so don't be last. <laughs> that that's the that's the objective in this. Do not. I'm gonna put it in front of the re. Do not be last. Abelard. Hildegard, Beregard, Wolfhard, Ermagard's cheering for you on the sides. All right. This is about teamwork. Staying straight on the narrow path. Stay on the path. I got two in. That could be good. Oh, so close. Fourth place again. Oh, so close. Fourth place. Second time in a row. One point ahead of the Lava Rockers. Wow. Oceanics got last. That's, that's sad. Hey, Team Momo got a medal. Hey. Oh, yeah. Find all seven employees in the stadium when a Mossland enter. Wait, what? Seven employees? Uh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, man, it went down a point. All right. So, after two events, we have the Yetis with a very firm first place with two gold medals in the first two events. Midnight Wiss with a silver, coming up to second. The Rangers drop down to third. Team Momo with their first medal of bronze, going up to fourth place. Marvelous Bards, me, and we drop down to fifth. But we're tied with, we're tied with Team Momo for fourth with two, two fourth place finishes to our name, which isn't bad at all for 
beginning and everything. That's pretty good, honestly. We'll have rockers. We're pretty close. Then we'll go up to 10th. Savage Speeders, 11th. Unfortunately, the Oceanics are in dead last. <laughs> I feel so bad for Oceanics. It's just... Why? Why? <laughs> I, I don't understand. All right. So before I conclude this, let me just show you the prior seasons. So who won what? I was playing as Team Omo for the first three. Team Galactic won it. Team Omo were seventh. Uh, I don't see Oceanics in that. Uh, Chocolatiers won in season two. And Team Omo, we were second. And Oceanics, oh, almost last in that one. I don't think Oceanics were in this one. No, they weren't. But they were almost last. But in season three, Team Momo, voila, here I am. I win. <laughs> Team Momo won it with eight medals. So that's the record, I think, eight. Team Galactic got six. Chocolatiers got four. I had eight. All right, then season four was the first team where I had all the new teams plus the new ones. Cobalt's won it with six. Yeti's got second. I was playing as Lava Rockers, came in fourth. And then... Season 5, the Yetis won it. Marvelous Bards, who I'm playing now, is, came in 3rd. Uh, Love Rockers came in 15th place. I did pretty bad. Pretty bad. Alright, but Season 6, our last thing, where I played as Team Ruby, uh, came in 7th. Which is not too bad. Raspberry Racers won it with 6. So I own the record with 8. Medals won in Season 3 with Team Momo. So far... The Yetis have gotten two in just the first two events. This is pretty substantial, I have to say. So, will the Yetis continue their dominance of being the big giant monsters? And When I think of a Yeti, I think of those uh, Wampas from Empire Strikes Back. That's just what I think about. So, we'll see what happens in the next one. Alright, see you next time. Bye.